Hi there, it's Steph from Daz, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to leverage the free Daz to Unity Bridge. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is open Daz Central and log in. Once Daz Central has opened, go over to the Bridge section in the left side toolbar and click on the Daz to Unity. Once you've done that, click Install in the top right-hand corner. Now, you need to download Unity. First, download Unity Hub app, once you've done that, click on Installs in the left-hand side. This is where you install Unity, and make sure you have the latest version. After that, go to Projects on the left-hand side, and let's create a new project by clicking New in the top right-hand corner. Let's select the High Definition RP. And then, choose a location where you want to save the project, and let's also name the project. Once you're done, click Create. Unity will begin to create the project where you can send your characters. Okay, once your project opens, let's minimize the window and let's go to Daz Studio. I'm going to load up our orc character. All right, here he is. Adding a character to Unity is very simple. Just select the root of your character in the Scene tab in the right-hand side. Then go to File in the main navigation bar, click Send, and select Daz to Unity. Okay, this is a very important step. Since this is the first time that we're adding a Daz character to Unity, we need to actually define the location of where our project is. Click on the three dots next to the Unity Assets folder. Navigate to the Unity Project folder we just made. Be sure to select the Assets folder. Once you've done that, check the box next to Install Unity Files, and then click Accept. Daz will automatically start transferring your character to Unity. Once Daz has finished sending the character, let's go ahead and open up Unity and see how it looks. As you can see, Unity will automatically start importing the character from Daz. Once your character has finished porting, you will get a dialog box, which you can just exit out of. There is one more thing we have to do before we can utilize the character. So, go over to the Assets folder on the left-hand side, go to Settings, click on HD Render Pipeline and then go over to the Diffusion Profile in the middle of the right side panel. Click the plus sign, and then select the iRay Uber Skin Diffusion Profile. Once you've done that, your character is ready. I'm going to zoom in to make sure he came over all right. And yep, that's looking really good. You can also return to Daz if you'd like and assign an animation to your character. I'm going to click on the root of my character again in the right hand side and send my animation to the character. Once you've got an animation on your character, you can click on the root again in the top right hand side, then go to File, click Send, and click Daz to Unity. Then uncheck the Install Unity files since we've already done that. And then I want to change the asset type to Animation. Then hit Accept. Now let's go back to Unity. Now you have your animation in the engine as well. You're all set to keep creating. Thanks for listening.